G'day guys, welcome to Shelt for the 1v1 Valkyrie Test Tournament and we're going to jump into the first game of the bracket stages to see Mr. Pringle from Finland up against Jutska from USA. Mr. Pringles as the Commonwealth, he's going a sword squad plus a militia squad and on the other end he's facing off Jutska, he's going an elite marksman squad going to the left hand side and a few single SMGs as Finland. So this is the second game. The first game, unfortunately, the replay was bugged and I cannot cast that one. And Mr. Pringles did win this one. So this is Juska's last chance to stay in this tournament in this best out of three. And he's gonna storm down to the east, taking the, the allied spawn flag. Interesting move as Mr. Pringles coming to the center with his full weight has totally missed Jutska. As Jutska is now splitting up his elite marksman squad quite a bit. Not going to use them in the shootout, I guess. He wants, wants to try get the grenades off. There's an open squad here. Mr. Pringles may have a bit of trouble. Let's see the grenade. Mr. Pringles evades. And not a, not a greatly cooked one. As Western Point uh, goes to Jutska, as there is no forces of Mr. Pringles there. So he's sacrificed, I guess, the side flags and and really just stormed the center to get it. I, mean, I guess he didn't expect Mr. Jutska to send many guys or send any guys to this Eastern Point. And I was hoping to just cap that with one single guy. Jutska now infiltrating the, well, all the way to the spawn, even taking up a residence at the stone wall directly, directly near Mr. Pringle's spawn. So he has some good uh, sight and potentially even get this guy to throw some grenades on this spot. It's a few single nails for Mr. Pringles. Looks like he's banking for something. Just going to use them to make sure his spawn is uh, clear. But will uh, definitely be outshot. I mean, these single guys will definitely be taken out by these elite marksmen if spotted. And here they go. This one guy. Can you get down the river? <laughs> he does. Mr. Pringles pulling pro now. Another SMG here. Now a full squad now. Going to hunt them down, I guess. The assault squad. Uh, it's in the center. Looks like uh, Pringles has uh, taken up some nice uh, camping spots, splitting out his troops very, very well. Assault squad. Oh, look at the five power, the so many of them. This one body egg, unfortunately, has no time to get grenades off. He's trying to hide and just gets shot inside the house. Dead body there. Oh, <laughs> his arm managed to stick out the concrete there. So here comes the assault squad to Pringles. Now going to try to route out the body egger. Unfortunately, those body eggers, oh, I guess they're slowing down the enemy quite a bit. Mr. Bringles forced to find and take out the guys running around buildings just because just trying to force the marker. It seems like he's just hiding the guys, moving a bit to different areas in the building so they get shot, but unfortunately, you can't evade that. Uh, the AI can definitely see you where you're going and just auto track him and take him out. So it looks like uh, um, Jessica has a, it's a decent opening, I guess, but now it's not very strong on the eastern point because he lost those Jaegers. And this point now is in jeopardy with a full weight coming soon. He's splitting Mr. Ringle's splitting them out very well. You can see uh, lots of singles in all sorts of uh, directions. Just making sure he doesn't get grenaded by the body Jaegers. Uh, three body Jaegers left. They, ooh, I don't think they can do too well with this uh, amount of troops, especially the Soul Squad leader of the with the EM grenade launcher. That can do, do good uh, good damage versus them. Uh, Swedish volunteer from Mr. Jutska going to the left and now supported by the T-50. This is the go-to tank to take out 20mm in the last uh, World of War tournament. Definitely a decent armor for a light tank, sloped armor. It's like a mini T-34. Going to the southern point, or the eastern point, sorry. Just go, um, Mr. Pringles with a black watch now. One body maker, unfortunately, not. takes out one at least. I think this is the last, uh, last kill. There you go. It's been uh, taken out. So, Mr. Pringles here. Uh, definitely the favorite in this one. Uh, he's, he's out of practice. But, uh, oh, jeez. It's in his blood, pretty much. Really was in his blood. He was the 1v1 champion for almost uh, two years, I think. Just winning all the tournaments, except losing to Tedessa in the last one. Uh, Jitska placed third, I think, in... Not the last one, the one before that. Yeah, has the skills to do it. Let's see what he does. Just come the DC with the T-50 doing a bit of rampaging action, taking out a lot of troops with his HE shells. Now following up with the reserve squad just for some line of sight and may be able to cap the center and still hold on to the majority of the cap. 11 to 1, Springles trailing. Eastern point now in the hands of the UK chaps. Coming in with the Black Watch to a shooting shootout area. Let's go with his uh, sunny KP bipod. 
Last guy of the Swedish Volunteer Squad taken out. T50, still using its HD shells. Reservists following up with a few grenades as well. Not so making much of an impact there. Oh, whoa, what a shot there. <laughs> AP sniping there, that's fewer MLG stuff from Jutska. If you follow the previous tournaments, this is the map Jutska used the Panzerfaust uh, with fire shotting versus Konos in the two tournaments ago. And yeah, I guess, I think, uh, yeah, I think um, Finland does have a few Panzerfausts. So I'm hoping, hoping to see some of that fire shot action. It's definitely not banned in the tournament, it's allowed in this particular tournament. Jutska. Interesting angle here. But it doesn't have the infantry weight, it seems. It's just a few conscripts coming now with another conscript reserve squad. And using the T-50 to take an infantry, but really gonna, gonna find it slow moving to be able to AP snipe all these guys. Trying to HE shell as well. Not really strong to have some powerful infantry forces to push its way. There's too many uh, Mr. Pringles forces here. Another black watch out, the UK spam is on. Lewis going now in position of fire. Now T50 is struggling to really make some sort of impact. Lewis kind of, you can see T50 is trying to take out more infantry, or take out infantry, but Mr. Pringle's taking out a lot more with just his infantry, so T50 not doing a good job so far, but it looks like uh, Jutska's coming with the OT-130. Let's check out this flaming action. Nice buy. Definitely need some sort of infantry kill. Look at go. Oh, that's fast, isn't it? Yeah. It's gonna go for the money. Sh gonna go straight for the infantry. Tanks coming now from Fist of Ringles, Crusader AA Olicon. Can it get oh it, it may get away? Oh it does! Just in the nick of time finds the house to hide behind. Oh that does get tracked in the process and that's rather unfortunate. One rifleman here with just an AP grenade. Oh wow. What is Pringle doing? Unfortunately, that didn't kill the tank. Uh, what you put time? Oh, I said, hey, hey. It's uh, 250 struggling to penetrate. Oh, KSX takes out the turret, I think. Oh, gets a gun and a turret, I believe. It has to heat up a lot, the OT-130, to allow just its forces to come in. It's got the trench clearing squad now, comes with the flamethrower, just good known. Or two flamethrowers, which was known for his flamethrower action. It's a bit in a precarious situation right now. There's so much infantry around here, especially with the Lewis gun. Let's see him go. Oh, look at that. Yep, there's too much fire. Our Lewis gun could just take it out. This other one's going to be being a bit more cautious now, sneaking to to the front. What does uh, could just could do now? Militiaman. I think this guy may be in trouble, mate. Get killed again by Lewis gun. No, Lewis gun's actually not shooting because of the trench. Uh, not because of the tank trap. And it's got some uh, juicy flaming action. These guys are still <laughs> aiming at this guy down below. They want revenge, but now they're finally succumbed to the burns. Oh, this guy throws a grenade while burnt. Oh, nearly had some revenge. Wow, look at this guy. <laughs> Gets shot as well. Oh, look at that fire shooting flaming. This is an awesome flaming by Jutska. Takes out nearly the whole Blackwatch squad, and wow, that trench clearing squad has definitely done a good job on the shoulders of this flamethrower. So, looking better for Jutsuka now, 23 to 11. Pringles did take a bit of a lead there from the infantry weight of the Blackwatch spam. But the OT-130 now coming for a turnaround. So this one little gun is proving to be a bit pesky. Wonder what the next buy is, or where's the white death from Mr. Uh, Jutsuka? Two special points are definitely out. I don't think Mr. Pringles has bought a two special point yet. There's an officer already. Wow. Look at that. He's hiding it. So this is he's using this just for the CP. He's running it away. You get minus 15 CP. So you can feel more and also get more payback. So he got it so early, I'm guessing. So that payback will trickle in more throughout the entire game. And he's not going to risk it using his binoculars instead. He's just going to hide it. Um, the, the difference between this point out the difference between this and the World of War is the officer doesn't have much range in binoculars, so it's a little bit risky to have it out the front, especially where snipers can get to it, such as White Death, in this case when you're fighting Finland, that would be a big worry. But here's the Royal Three-Pointer Special Guard, the Royal Commandos. Uh, Mr. Bruggles opting for the pressure on the side flag, but the T-50 is intercepted him already, 
So he's going to take it a bit slower now. Just going to might punish him with a... I know, he's not going to throw the next. He's definitely going to be overwhelmed by the superior skills of these commandos. Hard track. Still there, can get the 50 cal if needed. It's actually not destroyed, so he can take it back if he wants to. He's opting to use his commandos in infantry mode. T-50 running away, flamethrower coming in to try and barbecue these commandos. Pretty forced back by the fire of their silencer stem. T-50 now coming in to counter the Crusader AA in the middle. Gets another turret shot. Crusader AA now going to reverse the safety to get it, the repair on once again. That's a nice play by Pringles, taking out the side flags. Now going to start the cap going to his favour, 23 to 15. Got another black watch out by Mr. Pringles. We're choosing to go... He's spent uh, a lot of special points, 7. So he's got the, I think, 3 black watch. Commandos 3, so it's uh, 6. I must have missed one, because uh, there's probably, what, 4 black watches or something. That's probably why um, it's now 7 special points spent. Uh, just go, let's take a look at what he has. Can't see White Death. Interesting, he hasn't bought White Death. I think this map is awesome for White Death, especially the shootouts that happens in the center. But I guess uh, Jutska does have uh, the other side kind of uh, in, kind of blocked off by the flamethrower. Black Watch stuck outside in the roadway from the center, and not daring to move forward until that flamethrower is dead. I guess. Let's see. He's going to try route out that flamethrower. Oof. Placed uh, nicely? Or not? No, <laughs> not nicely. No, he's gonna just try and go crazy. He doesn't know what's there, he's just going... Sh oh, look, he's trying to fire shot. Oh, he can't do it. He can't do it. Just out of the range. Oh, maybe he can't, right? So he takes that one. This guy just... Oh, he dies too. That guy dies too. Oh, no. It's an awesome shot. D50. Tracked by something. I don't know what. Excuse the doggies. Crusader A8. Western Point now capped by Mr. Jutska. Commando is coming in for Mr. Pringles. Bren opening up now. He's going to try to force the weight in. The full commander squad's coming in. Mr. Jutska only has an assault squad protecting it, so they're going to easily capture this flag. No reinforcements yet, but oh, here's a T15. Now it's repaired its uh, track. I'm going to try to support. Oh, and there's not too many forces around here, so it's going to be a sitting duck, especially the Royal Commandos here. They come with two Piats, I think. Oh no, one Piat. I think it might have been changed in this mod to be one Piat instead of two. Not sure where the Piat guy is, though. Can't see it, so it's uh, approaching, but here's a flamethrower from the trench clearing squad. Oh, takes out two. That Pringle still holds on to that point. 34 to 15. T50 now coming down to. Try to shoot away that Crusader again. Oh, finally, it's tracked in the awkward position and I just got, should be able to take it out. Machine gun, look at that freaking shot there on the move. AP stops the machine gun. Oh, it just, ugh, what a shot. Very accurate gun indeed. Not struggling. Oh, if, since I said that, it's not very accurate, but perhaps now it will be. Oh, didn't realize it's got the desert. Uh, there's a rat's icon there. Yeah, there goes that Crusader AA. Jusko though is always uh, taking taking out the commanders with a bit of micro, using his uh, grenading skills. Let's route out the remaining. Oh, <laughs> that was the 80 grenade. So uh, didn't cook it uh, too well. Achilles, wow, Achilles out by Mr. Pringle just to take out the T50. That's a very interesting buy. I guess he wanted to make use of it in the future. So let's just take that. Takes out the Achilles. It's, he's pretty much got the biggest tank on the field. I don't think Jutska will waste uh, any money in a tank by now, considering there's an Achilles out there. So you can be kind of guaranteed that he has uh, tank domination for the rest of the game. But uh, no infantry killers. I guess he's, he can buy an infantry killer and bait that. So the classic uh, infantry killer tank combo. Pringles and Jutska playing a little minor skirmish here just with a few infantry, two commandos, but the flamethrower might turn the tide in this one. Here we go. Oh, doesn't know, might not even need it. This commander is just being pinned down by the semi SMG. Now, here comes the flamethrower. He'll finish the job. Oof. 
little guy. <laughs> wow, dies just on the flag. This is very heroic of him. Western Point now, back to Jutska, 15 to 37. Very close game so far. In terms of MP wise, counts, it's pretty damn even. Just because slightly in the lead and kills. T50, <laughs> wow, look at that, 652. Definitely the top scorer, or definitely the most impactful unit in the game. And here comes a classic infantry killer combo. Now Achilles going to play a big role in protecting these two units. Uh, Royal Commanders, they spent the last uh, three specials on the Royal Commanders. Interesting. And he's sending it to the left, maybe? Not sure where he's going. Gray coming down to the center. Ah, I suppose that's yeah, interesting. interesting one. I guess it's versus to take out the Tawny squad when it comes out. A few elite AT infantry, I think. Too sure. Oh wow, nice peekaboo shot from the T-34. Oh no. Oh, gotta get out. Get out, man. Oh, lucky. It didn't die. Oh, bad luck. It's coming. This is too sharp. But now, this is the commander infiltration here. Look at it. He just ran in, dropped them out, cut off the road, and now this T-34 is in danger. Piat right here can do some damage. But uh, Hubjack been taken out through the arc. But here comes the Piat coming in. Oh, this guy has managed to get some guys to protect. Now he's got to get out of there quickly. He's taken out. There goes the Piat guy. The biggest danger has been taken out. And here's the Tawny squad, you can see the Tawny MGs. I'm not sure where the Tawny snipers are. Tawny snipers, there's a sniper there, Tawny. That's uh, gonna hide from that uh, Crusader AA. T-34 back in a way, it's uh, a bit afraid as it could be troops anywhere around here. Looks like uh, we'll just go have some guys in the backfield. With this roadway right there is a bit of a danger. T-34 just gonna wait here until his infantry does a bit more work to clear the area. Mr. Pringle's coming in. But a lot of uh, things here stopping him. Oh. It does clear the rubble though. Assault squad from Pringles. Check out the MP situation though for Pringles. Doesn't look too good. I'm guessing Jutsuka has a quite a similar status. Oh no, not really. He's got, uh, in terms of MP wise, he's jumped up in terms of the kills. T-34. Tawny squad plus T-34 shooing away the commandos. Forced to fall back here. Achilles though, maybe in danger. It's quite open. Look at the T-34. Shit. Boom. Oh, wow. Caught napping. Unfortunately, it's been turreted. And now nothing's going to protect the crusade. Oh. But that's been tracked too. Interesting. Achilles though. Oh, it's just turret. It's not moving. I guess it's crew injured or something. Oh, doesn't matter. Commandos. <laughs> Taking out T-34 from right here, and that was an unlucky track from Jutska, and that could have been a game changer for Mr. Pringle. That T-34 was the thing that could kill everything, could have killed that and that quite easily, because that was down. But lucky that one commando sneaking right here changed the game entirely, was able to throw the grenade and take it the T-34, that was uh, clutch right there, could have gone any anyway. Here's the doggies. Set at AA. Still, uh, King of the Field just gonna need a counter. Looks like he's got one now. T34, T, sorry, T50 coming down straight directly at it for a frontal shot. Achilles, oh, preparing. Just needs a tracker, but I think it'll be alright. It's <laughs> got the track already, and that's, uh, might be able to escape. I think it's going to escape. It's not good. It doesn't have the best gun to penetrate the crew AA. And now uh, I think it's just sitting dark. What's the range on this? Ooh, it's in range. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the T-50 can shoot at the Achilles. I'm pretty sure Achilles' turret is not that weak. Yeah, oh, it's pretty weak. 25, okay. Uh, SAS from... Oh, it's going to be a nasty one. Got them come in. It's just so formidable, the, the SAS Vickers. But they've got the snipers from the 20, two of them there. Been quite underwhelming though. They haven't really participated in the battle, I don't think. 
focus. Oh, he comes a shot. Boom. <laughs> Piat. These snipers definitely, I guess they're scared of the Crusader AA. And I'm able to make an impact. Well, one of the snipers did, uh, is actually in range to take him out. So there's a few of these uh, SAS dead from that sniper. Definitely the best unit to counter. Just go really can the other sniper. He knows how instrumental these guys are to fight this SAS. SAS now moving in more. And one guy in the sights. That's really infiltrating right now. 20 detachment MG fleeing. All the MGs are running away. SAS with the support of the crew AA. And now the Achilles is repaired. Has a APCR shell loaded for some reason. And running away to spawn. It's going to be a tough one to take out. He's got the, this place infiltrated. Snipers uh, oh, need to get closer to shoot out. Now he's pushing up even more. Achilles. Nice shooting. This grenade here. One camping guy ambushes. Hmm, let's see score. Score, yep, has ticked now in the favor of Mr. Pringles. So I'm guessing Jutska's a bit lower LMP. Actually, especially that, uh, I think, because uh, the officer's here. I'm pretty sure that um, Jutska may have less because the payback. I'm sure Jutska probably has almost zero MP. Because Mr. Pringles would have got more MP throughout the game. He's fielding a lot on the field. Still has uh, some... CP to spare too for another squad or unit to maybe even force an attack here with a hard track or even a crew AA. Just go holding on though with uh, quite a few guys spaced out well. But his prospects for taking another point is quite low, I think. As the SAS he has to contend with here. I guess the snipers are going to be just fully other. Uh, it's going to be instrumental here. But where are the snipers? Did they just take them out? I can't see the snipers. Maybe the crew AA took him out. But he's, uh, yep, looks like the idea is he's going to force the three cap. Just kick him in the balls when he's down. Go on the half track plus the militia. I'm going to try and attack the western, I believe. Oh, there's a sniper right there. But, uh, yeah, how is he going to take out the crew AA? He needs to take out the crew AA to have any chance of capping. And I guess that's what he's going to do. Wow. T-34, 85. This is going to decide this, I guess, once he takes out the crew AA. His sniper can slowly work on the SAS in the center. But this is going to be the engagement here. Let's see how the Achilles can fight off this T-34, 85. Just going to play a bit safe. Going to try and probably use the house for a bit of shooting action. As the Achilles armor can't withstand the shot. Oh, goes for the crew AA instead. Get the turret. The Achilles, the, the, the house will dampen the 17 pounder shot enough to take out, to not, to, sorry, for the T3 to withstand the shot. And vice versa, I don't think the Achilles can withstand the shot even if the building dampens the T34's bullet. Oh, what the hell is that? 50 cal on the roof from Jutska, right? He has picked up the 50 cal from that hard track before, and that stuffed Pringles assault, so that's good. Oh! Sorry, missed that, but T-34 has just been taken out by the Achilles. And there goes Jutska's game, I think, with that. Sniper is still, still going to try. That's so many targets to kill. And Crew AA, uh, it's not really being repaired, but it will be soon. And there won't be a counter for it anymore. Maybe an 80, 80 gun, but I uh, dare say it's... The MP situation would be almost would be zero. I think that's what, I thought it was zero before, but this time it's definitely almost zero with the 85 being lost. Three thousand three hundred twenty MPs worth of kills versus two thousand five hundred seventy-three to twenty-four in the lead. Mr. Pringles definitely looking more on form compared to his first game coming back. That's going to be a tough competitor. I'm going to play the winner of Tedessa and Hansi if he goes through. It looks like he will. And all, this this bracket is pretty much a nightmare bracket on paper. Because all these players on this side uh, were tournament winners. Hansi always coming in second, so he's definitely always a one to contend with. 
Mr. Tedessa Lars champion, and now Mr. Pringles champion before that. So really, really tough bracket. On the other end, uh, yeah, not too many champions. I used, I used to win a lot of tournaments, but that was back maybe three years ago. When it was a bit different without Pringles there. Uh, that that Shotter. Shotter has actually seeded one, but he scored the most. Uh, but uh, on paper though, this is the bracket, toughest bracket here. Nimrod here from Jitsko, gonna oh, suicidal charge. Achilles puts it away. Could have done it actually, I think. That would have, that's uh, always worth a try. It nearly got to Achilles' killing range and it could have taken out everything. But a bit, uh, bit of a casino roll. 81 to 24. Looks like it's going to be over. Finish Masters through, I think. Achilles, wow. <laughs> 1,400 MPs worth of kills. Achilles, uh, 670 MP in this mod. Okay, I didn't actually know that. I thought it was a bit more cheaper. 650, 650 it is actually, is in um, default. But I think uh, the reason for that is, like, uh, I think Tac Destroyers are better in this mod. Pretty sure the range is. Let me know, guys. Or oh, is that just AT guns? Perhaps it's just the AT guns. I think tank destroyers are just more accurate because they have veterancy or something. Extra veterancy, I believe. That's why it's uh, up the price a little bit for this particular gun. Oh, there you go. Good game to Mr. Pringles. He's through to the second round of the final bracket stages.